Hi, my name is Allie. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to the Salty Canadian Podcast. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Salty Canadian Podcast. At the beginning, there was me and my four-year-old daughter, Allie, who has a special treat for you at the end of the show. Some housekeeping before we start. Don't forget to head over to Instagram and follow the instructions for the sticker giveaway. I'm hoping to have that ended end of May, beginning of June, maybe the end of June pending and all that fun stuff don't forget about my patreon it helps basically support the show i'll be able to get some awesome merchandise and maybe do a merchandise giveaway at some point but i do need some more supporters for that so today i am going to be doing 25 things that you didn't know about canada So I hope you enjoy. So number one, Canada is the second largest country in the world right after Russia. Russia is 1.71 times larger than Canada. However, Canada is the eighth least dense country in the world with most people living in cities. If it weren't for immigration, Canada's population would shrink. The Canadian flag didn't exist until 1965, and O Canada officially became the national anthem in 1980, both being things we identify as Canadian. Number three, the name Canada comes from the word Kanata, used by the Iroquois, a Native American tribe who lived in Quebec in the 16th century. It means village or settlement. The French explorers mistakenly took the word to mean the name of the whole area, not just the village. Number four, Canada is a bilingual country with English and French being official languages. However, only New Brunswick officially recognizes the equal status of French and English. Manitoba and the three territories also officially recognize them. And in the later cases, other languages too as well, but have limited services in official languages other than English. Quebec is the only all-French province. However, every province provides its people with services in other languages if needed. Number five, step aside strange place names of the world. Canada is home to... A lake in... Northeastern Manitoba. Its name is Cree from where the wild trout are caught by fishing with hooks. Number six, Wood Buffalo National Park is Canada's largest national park at 44,802 kilometers squared or 17,298.149 square miles. It straddles the border of Northern Alberta and Southern Northwest Territories. It was created in 1922 to the world's largest herd of roaming wood bison. This park is so large that it's bigger than the country of Switzerland, which is 41,285 kilometers squared or 15,940 Point two two eight square miles. The Netherlands, which is forty one thousand eight hundred and fifty kilometers squared, or sixteen thousand one hundred and fifty eight point three seven five square miles, and But Button, which is thirty eight thousand three hundred ninety four kilometers squared, or fourteen thousand eight hundred and twenty four point zero zero six square miles among many others. Number seven, you can drive straight across the country 
on the Trans-Canada Highway, also known as Highway 1, which runs across five time zones and ten provinces from Victoria, British Columbia, St. John's, Newfoundland. But what about the islands? There are three ferry routes that are a part of the highway as well. You know you're on the highway by the white on green maple leaf route markers. So for number eight, I have found some additional information that I'm going to add. But number eight goes, during the War of 1812, the British of Upper and Lower Canada, what eventually would become Canada, went to war with the U.S. by setting the White House on fire. Now, with setting the White House on fire, it actually didn't happen until August 24th, 1814. On that day in 1814, during the War of 1812, between the United States and England, British troops entered Washington, D.C. and burned the White House in retaliation for the American attack on the city of York in Ontario, Canada in June 1812. I will try to see if I can find a picture and post it up on my Instagram page. Number nine, the Hudson's Bay Company is the oldest chartered trading company in the world, still in operation, and has become a symbol of Canada. Founded in 1670, the company began working in the fur industry. Since then, it has grown to encompass a variety of retail goods from liquor, canned salmon, coffee, and tea. Today, the company is owned by an American, but continues to be a prominent retailer in Canada. Number 10. When people come to Canada, everyone tells them to try Putin. And if you want to hear a great podcast, go check out Dark Putin. In Quebec, Poutine is slang for mess, which is certainly what you get when french fries and cheese curds are are all drowned in a healthy portion of gravy. With its fries in popularity, Poutine and its gourmet version is now available everywhere from fast food high-end restaurants. The only thing they have in common is the high calorie count, at, but each bite is so worth it. And the way I like my poutine is with extra cheese and extra gravy, so it's an even bigger mess. Number 11. 80% of the world's maple syrup made in Canada and 91% of that is made in the province of Quebec alone. We also have a maple syrup reserve which made international headlines when he is broken and stole 18 million dollars worth of maple syrup. Who would steal that much maple syrup? I love maple syrup. We only get the real maple syrup when we have pancakes and things like that because my hubby hates the, you know, fake maple syrup, as he likes to call it. Number 12. Canada is the largest exporter of green lentils in the world, accounting for over 80% of global exports with 95% of it coming from Saskatchewan. And number 13. Sorry, Americans. Apparently, Canadians love their craft dinner mac and cheese or macaroni and cheese. We consume 55% more box mac and cheese than any other nation in the world. Also, we call it craft dinner. 
or KD for short, or I like to call it sometimes crappy dinner. Not craft macaroni and cheese as in the US. And in some ways I like to make my craft dinner is putting a can of tuna in it to get it get taste a little different or having cooked ground beef, which is also fairly good. So just a quick break here to hear from our sponsor. If you're looking for either a late Mother's Day gift or a early Father's Day gift, because as well, Father's Day is coming up, try getting some Studio Sweden headphones. And let's hear a little bit about it. Hey Salties, do you know a company that wants to revolutionize the way people see headphones as not just a tech device, but also an accessory? Currently, the headphones market can offer you one of two things, dial or tech. Headphones tend to lack the proper sound quality, and high-tech variations are bulky and not design-oriented. Studio wants to bridge that gap. While emphasizing their modern Scandinavian design, they also provide a product that matches the quality of even the highest rated headphones on the market for a fraction of the cost. Well, I got the region, the premium on-ear model in white because who doesn't like white with the impeccable clarity in the instrumental tones and well-balanced sound i can listen to all my podcasts and i absolutely love it with 24 plus hours of active battery life and 20 days of standby life the regent is the perfect companion for you at home or on the go. It will connect to any device that has Bluetooth, which in my opinion is pretty awesome. I hate getting tangled in headphone cords. But if that's not for you, there is also an auxiliary cord if you don't want to use the wireless option. You can also personalize your Regent with interchangeable hats, such as white or black marble designs, which I hope you at some point get very soon. The combination of High polished metal and matte service embodies the vision of the Scandinavian design. And guess what? They provide free worldwide shipping. All you have to do is go to www.studio.com. That's spelled S U D I O. Select the headphones that you want and then enter the discount code SALTY. That's S A L T Y. And that will give you 50% off any purchase. So, why don't you get those headphones and enjoy listening to your podcasts in style? Now on to number 14. Stanley Park in Vancouver is 1,001 acres, making it 10% bigger than New York's Central Park. A 9 kilometer or 5.592 miles pathway known as the Stanley Park Seawall, runs the perimeter of the park and welcomes runners, cyclists, and walkers alike. Number 15. Underneath the city of Toronto is a system of pedestrian walkways called PATH, connecting 1,200 stores and restaurants, 50 office towers, 20 parking garages, 5 subway stations, and a railway station. With 30 kilometers or 18.64 miles of walkway, it is the largest underground shopping complex according to the Guinness Book of World Records. It's a welcomed relief from the heat of the summer and the biting cold of the winter. Number 16. Quebec City is the only walled North American city north of Mexico. It was also the first city in North America to be placed on the UNE SCO World Heritage Site. It is also completely gorgeous and I have been to Montreal and somewhat in Quebec City and it is just truly a very beautiful place to go and visit. Number 17. Residents of Churchill, Canada, leave their cars unlocked to 
offer an escape for pedestrians who might encounter a polar bear. Yeah, that's kind of smart. I don't know if I would want to run into a polar bear. I honestly prefer to see them in a zoo when we go to visit the Toronto Zoo because they're actually very cute. Number 18. There is a law in Montreal that keeps skyscrapers within reason. No building is allowed to be taller than the cross on top of Mount Royal, which is 232.5 meters above sea level, which overlooks the city. Number 19. Canada holds the record for the most gold medals ever won at Winter Olympics. And it was done on home turf at the 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympics with 14 gold medals. Overall, we won 26 medals in those games. And it was a great time to be in Vancouver. Number 20, you might find kind of interesting. The Royal Canadian Mint. In addition to making coins for Canada, also produces currency for other countries. In total, 89 other countries get their coins from Canada. Its longest continuous contract for producing foreign coins is with Barbados for more than 30 years. Number 29. And that was number 21. Who's that? Speaking of money, Canada is also home to the world's largest coin. Known as the Big Nickel, it is located in Sudbury, Ontario, and is 9 meter replica of a 1951 Canadian nickel. I will also find a photo and post it on my Instagram page, which will show up on all my other pages. Number 22. Famous Canadians include Rachel McAdams. Brian Reynolds, Mike Myers, Brian Goslin, William Shatner, Michael Bublé, and many more. Number 23. Santa is Canadian too. If you send a piece of mail to the North Pole, H-O-H-O-H-O, then you will get a letter back from Santa. My daughter has done this a couple times and she gets excited every time she gets a letter back from Santa. It is great for little kids, so if you have a young child, they can always write you Santa Claus, so just put it on the envelope. Santa Claus, North Pole, the North Pole, H O H O H O, and they'll receive a letter back before Christmas. Number 24. Canada also made many contributions to the world, some of them which may be surprising. Like, Sanford Fleming introduced the concept of standard time, the idea of using insulin as a treatment for diabetes, to the creation of IMAX movies, and much more. And last but not least, number 25. For trivia nerds, it was a pair of Canadians who created the game of Trivial Pursuits. So there you have it. 25 things you probably never knew about Canada. I was actually quite surprised that Martins wasn't thrown in there somewhere. So that is all for me today. Don't forget to go ahead and go pop over to my Instagram and follow the instructions to enter my sticker giveaway. I can always be reached on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Just search for the Salty Canadian Podcast. As well, I can be reached by email at the Salty Canadian 28. 2017 at gmail.com. So 
I am going to leave you here with a little song from my daughter. She decided she wanted to do a little song for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't be salty and have a great day. A. Eh? One, two, three, four, five. My time called a fish a lot. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When I let it go again, why did I let it go? Cause I bit my finger so switch finger did it. The so finger on my right.